pull our proclamation for the week. This is uh, a proclamation that we need to read slowly. And uh, as a reminder, we have personalized this uh, proclamation. It's a personalized uh, uh, proclamation taken from Psalm 121, verses 4 to 8. And uh, uh, it is, well, one would say it is unusually uh, amplified, but there's a purpose for it, and each of the uh, names, it's basically a reference to some, not all, some of the names of our Heavenly Father, the Almighty God, and how uh, the Jews of old and even the, the uh, New Testament uh, uh, Jews or the Christian Jews, how they um, regarded God based upon what he did and how he addressed them and how he uh, wanted them uh, to know him. And so uh, the references uh, at the lower level, we are not going to read it because they are already incorporated in the proclamation. So. Uh, we are only reading uh, the first part, which is the actual proclamation, and we can use uh, the other, the one in, uh, below, as a reference. But um, let us uh, read it slowly and make sure we are uh, saying each word. Uh, the very first word, again, just for us to know in the second line, uh, uh, second uh, line, uh, second word, uh, we don't have to say that because that is what is in the third word. Yahweh. So uh, if we're trying to determine how to pronounce that, the Jews of old were so humbled in their estimation of using the name of God that they didn't even want to write the full, uh, the full words of Yahweh, uh, which is the same as Jehovah. And that word there is uh, Tikenu, if we want to uh, say so. Tikenu uh, is what we have to say so again. They were so they, they, they felt that they were uh, unholy to write the name of God to say the name of God. So they would normally reference to him that he they would say he who uh, has no name. God has had a, has had a name all along, but they were unwilling to use his name because they felt uh, it was a sign of disrespect. Uh, nowadays, uh, let me add a, a, a another plugin we find that even pastors, preachers, uh, disrespect uh, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, while, yes, that is all right, his name, all right, but uh, we find that the Apostle Paul used to use the word, the Lord, the Lord. We find um, pastors who had uh, done all the degrees, and they called them, say they want to be known as a, a reverend, doctor, professor, and all of that. But when it comes to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they always say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And while that is correct, but that is not uh, fully showing regard and respect uh, to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So there should always be the Lord before every time we, anytime we say uh, Jesus, we have to say the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord always, or the Savior, the Master, everything we want to use. But let us uh, uh, use that. So if they... Uh, using the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, here we find some names, some attributes, and they are powerful attributes, which, again, we can personalize. It is a, uh, a powerful uh, statement. So uh, and uh, we have done verses 1 to... Uh, should this be verses uh, 5? I think this is 5 to 8, right? Uh, we've already done uh, some... 121, we've done uh, 1 to 4. So we are now doing verses 5 to 8. And that's what it should be. Um, so, yeah, we are, do okay, we are doing one, we did 1 to 3, right? So this time we are doing one, uh, 4 to 8. That's correct, right? No, we did one to four. So this is 
five to eight verses five to eight. So uh, we can make a note in our in this. We are now doing verses five to eight. So let us proclaim this wonderful uh, message to our souls, beloved saints. Let us remind one another of holy scriptures that our Yahweh, Jehovah, Tikenu, the Lord, our righteousness, Adonai, Elohim, El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jehovah Shalom, our peace, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, the Lord, our heavenly Father, is our keeper. The Lord is our shade at our right hand. The, Lord, the sun shall not strike us by day, nor the moon by night, because of the substitutionary shed blood and sacrificial death of his beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Jehovah Nisi, our banner, shall preserve us from all evil by the power of his Holy Ghost, Moreover, as saints, he shall preserve our soul. The Lord shall preserve our going and our coming in daily from this 23rd day of December in the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, 2018. And if Christ tarries through 2019 and even forevermore, amen. Psalm 121, verses 5 to 8. Amen. Let us be seated.